It's not just Newcastle's overwhelming success that has attracted such rave reviews. It's been as much about the style with which the championship has been achieved. But as is so often the case in football, Kevin Keegan's attacking ideals have been based on a sound and well-organised defence, which has proved as mean in conceding goals as the attack has been prolific in scoring them. The signings that have attracted the headlines will always be Andy Cole, Robert Lee and Scott Sellers. But the two key arrivals, which did so much to change the character of United's squad, both came during the summer. Barry, a lot of people look back to the summer and the two or three key signings, of course, including uh, yourself. What sort of a, a club was it to come into then? Did it feel like a club that had just escaped relegation? Well, it certainly didn't when I arrived. People have said that I was possibly leaving a, a better club than Liverpool and uh, taking a bit of a gamble. I never really felt that. Um, when I came here with, with Kevin and, and Terry Mack, the enthusiasm was magnificent. Just seeing the club again, they had a, a lot of things to offer. They knew exactly what they wanted and obviously uh, promotion to the Premier League was high on that list. Um, there's not many, very many times in his career that Gaffer hasn't achieved what he set out to. And uh, I mean, obviously, it's a bonus for us to be where we are now. Yeah, I like to play football. And Barry Venison coming from Liverpool, he, he showed us. Um, and like, he's got to give credit to such as uh, Ken Scott and Steve Howey because, like, to be honest, it's, it's the back four, you know, it, everybody's got to help each other out and uh, everybody's helping each other, which it, it, we've benefited from it. You know, I mean, Barry coming into a strange side and uh, really enjoyed it. Well, the great thing I always said before the start of just about every game this year to the lads was uh, if you, in defence, give us a platform, you know we've got the players to win it. Lee Clarks, the Scott Sellers now, certainly Andy Cole, David Kelly, Gavin Peacock, Robert Lee. You, you know, we know we're going to score goals. If we don't give goals away, we're going to be very hard to beat. We've also, what people have neglected to say, we've got the best defensive record in almost the entire league, and I mean the first division, or the Premier League as it now is, they play less. So uh, it's not just been about scoring goals, the lads at the back have done a terrific job, the goalkeepers, both of them, because let's not forget Tommy Wright for the first 14 games until he got injured was superb, and Pavel Sins, that, that you know, we, we've, well, to win a championship everyone's got to contribute, and we really have, Our 16 players have contributed for this. Barry Venison knew all about the North East, and all about success. Born in County Durham, he led rival Sunderland out at Wembley before his 21st birthday. His natural leadership qualities had alerted mighty Liverpool, and Venison's football education was completed in one of the game's great academies. Nobody knows about a Liverpool pedigree better than Keegan himself. For 250,000, he bought a man who knew all about winning with league championship and FA Cup winning medals to prove it. By contrast, John Beresford was all about potential. He'd been a former Manchester City apprentice who'd been released before his career really started to progress with first Barnsley and then Portsmouth. But his compact defending and strength when coming forward made him an outstanding prospect and a sound investment for 650000 Barry Venison has given Newcastle that steely edge any championship team must have. If an important tackle has to be won, then Venison usually comes out with the ball. It was no surprise when the local lad took over the captaincy as well. United are used to dominating the opposition, and the fullbacks quite often end up defending in their opponent's half. Their sharpness in stemming attacks provides the springboard for United's counter-offensive. The manager went out and signed a fullback partnership with yourself and John Beresford. And it's a key season for fullbacks because you must have found the new back pass rule and it's changed your role uh, quite significantly. So if you haven't got fullbacks who can play and attack, then you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, I mean, the easy route out, it's gone now. You know, the little uh, lazy back pass, is not, it puts a little bit more on us on the fullbacks. And you've got two options. You can either lash it into the stand or you can try and turn and play on it. And luckily for me and John Beresford this season, we found ourselves quite comfortable. But we've got good players around us who make it easier for us. I mean, it's not down to me and John, it's down to the players around us. Uh, oh, the last thing is that we can lay it back to Tommy, and Tommy's quite comfortable in them situations. But yeah, I think it makes it a little bit more interesting from the players' point of view, but especially from the fans, because they're seeing a lot more football and people are having to work harder to make the ball work. John Beresford's principal asset is his pace. So quick to cover and get himself in the positions that really matter but both full-backs are essential to Newcastle's attacking style. Beresford is always supporting, linking instinctively. As a classic overlapping full-back, he can hit those telling deep crosses.
but Beresford's high-stepping, compact style gives him the balance to slide those passes through the defence. Venison thrives on those sharp passing movements that typified Liverpool at their most incisive. And he can get on the outside of defences as well. The forwards inevitably get the, the glamour, the team's an attacking team, but the, uh, the old defence has done its job this season. Uh, as the sort of head of the defensive clan, Ed, uh, you'd be pleased with the contribution. Yeah, I mean, I'm proud of our defensive record. Obviously, it, it takes a lot more than me to hold back for. Even the team's defended very well. The forwards have done a good job for us, closing down the midfield. It's nice to score a lot of goals, obviously, it is, but it's very nice for the goalkeeper and the, and the back four lads. You take a bit of pride in, in keeping a clean sheet. We've achieved that a few times this season. Possibly not as many times as we'd like to have, but our goals for and goals against the second to none in this division, and that's, that's uh, you know, it says a lot for the whole team. Despite all their contribution to Newcastle's forward momentum, the fullback partnership only managed one goal between them, and here it is. Beresford had the honour of converting this penalty against a demoralised Barnsley. He buried it, of course. As for Venison, it was another case of what might have been. Against Peterborough, he was twice involved with stunning one-twos. The goalkeeper did his job, though, but Newcastle still got their goal.